going to give you a, a little update on this. This is an M578. This is a wrecker and a recovery vehicle that we are just putting back into service that we had for a while. It was up in the museum, came out of Indiana, and uh, it just needs a lot of love and, and tender care. And it's a, it's, a, it's a diesel, it's supercharged, and it's turboed. It's a big, big bear. And it has the crane so we can retrieve and um, pull motors in and out in the field is what they used it for. As you can see, the back compartment's all armor, so you can do this while under fire. We have where the driver sits in here, you, you can close the hatch and drive the vehicle under fire, but you're, you work the winches back there. And as you can see, this is where the driver would drive this vehicle with the hatches closed, the periscopes in, 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 in actual combat. And even the cupola where the cranes are operated on, you can see the periscopes and that is armor plated. So you can close the hatches, people are shooting at you, you can drive this all around. It's a really unique wrecker. Okay, we are, uh up here in the museum and we're going to be pulling out the M578 with the five ton and we're going to be pulling it out of its position that has been in for about four or five years. You can see the five ton cab, boy she's really bouncing up and down. The clutches are, are chattering, my foot is shaking, the mirrors are, are bouncing and vibrating. It's a very heavy load we're pulling out. She's twice the weight of the five ton. There's a lot of strain on that tow bar. Uh, it really takes an awful lot to jackknife this vehicle out of position and, and get her rolling. And then once we straighten her out, you can see the cab will start to lighten up a little bit. She'll want to dance and just follow the five ton. After we jackknifed and came around the corner, we, she just rolled like a baby, followed the five ton, did what it was told, and it was a very successful tow. She's been sitting for quite some time, and when she sits, the brakes were applied, the tracks have been sitting, the bearings, the control differential, likes to uh, gum up and get a little funny. She seemed smooth on the way down. The tracks seemed good. We didn't get any uh, binding, any slapping. We're gonna be coming around that corner they're going to be jackknifing it almost at 90 degrees, so it's really a challenge to get in because you can't really stop. You've got to keep moving. You can't really use your mirrors just a little bit because we're in tunnel vision here, um, so it's quite challenging. You can't push in the clutches. You can't stop because you can break a dry shaft. You can do a bind. You can bend the to tow bar, so it's just got to be a nice, smooth transition into the shop. So, um, as you can see, we came in really nicely. We didn't uh, do any damage. That was a very successful tow. It needs a little bit of work and we're gonna get this thing running. And later on in the updates, we're gonna show you in the field and in the, and in the brush, and we're gonna put it through its uh, paces because uh, every time we go out, we do a show or something, we're gonna get stuck. We need something that's dependable that we can bring this baby out there and get us back home in one piece. And this is a tracked wrecker, just like you see on the road out there, but it's tracked to come pick up your car. So we're gonna get this thing running. We gotta re go through all the motor compartment, all the lines, all the wires. We gotta make sure the hydraulics are working, a couple of cylinders are leaking. So we're gonna go through that though. And your next update, you'll get a charge of it because we're going for a little ride.